This is Charter Local Edition. My name is Brad Palmer. It's we're in the Inland Empire today, and we are joined by Joseph W. Brady. He is the president of the Victor Valley Community College District in Victorville, California. And so I'd like to speak with you about the recent tragedy in Oregon. There was a shooting at a community college. And I have to think that you and your friends at Victor Valley paused for a moment. Anything could happen anywhere, but it was a community college in Oregon where nine people lost their lives, 10 if you include the perpetrator. Talk to me about the moment you learned of the incident and what you and your colleagues are doing to try to avoid it at VVC. Ironically, the moment the moment I heard about it, Brad, the first thing I did was I called Dr. Wagner. Who is your superintendent. And, yeah, and, and, and a really good guy. And I said, let's have lunch today. He goes, I'm going to be having lunch at the college. Why don't you come on down? He said, what do you want to talk about? I said, we hear this way, way too often. Right. We need to become proactive, not reactive. So we went down, we sat down and talked. Um, this, this, the, the, this past board meeting, we had Sheriff Leonard come on in, mm -hmm. who's our chief. Uh, oh, Sheriff VVC. Leonard. Yeah, not Sheriff Leonard, but Chief Leonard. Okay. And he came in and talked to us as a board, instructed us what to do in the case that somebody came to a board meeting, gave us a backup plan of, about how we would evacuate, mm -hmm. but more importantly, talked about what they're doing at the college. About six months ago, when there was the prior shooting, right. uh, we had him come on in and give us a wish list. And the wish list, for anybody in law enforcement, they want to get as much as they can. The list came in, and it was about $4 million at, at the time. But well, it included panic buttons. It included you know, body cameras. We just, we, we just got body cameras. We just got the, uh, the uh, cameras for the cars. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're working through that process. And I'm really hoping that, that, that out of this tragedy and other tragedies that have occurred at, at, at schools, it doesn't matter if it's a community college or right, a university, it just doesn't matter, right. that, that hopefully our governor and our legislature would say, we have a little bit of extra money this year in our budget. Why don't we do some one-time money Earmark it, earmark it specifically for, for schools to be sure we have all the possible tools. You can't, all you can do is be diligent about this right. problem. Uh, we have pretty good counterintelligence uh, within our school. Uh, but let me they, ask you about that, because in the final analysis, anyone that would engage in such a horrific act, there has to be some type of mental deterioration. Absolutely. And without getting into the debate of who kills people, mm -hmm. what we do know is that if there can be an intervention with someone who's struggling, that really is the best recipe. And so do you have that, quote, counterintelligence to allow individuals to report a student that they think may be suffering, but not create it in a way where all of a sudden that student who's been reported is a criminal, but is really someone that just needs some, some help? Everybody at some time in their life needs some type of guidance or help or mm -hmm. direction. Uh, the, the, the intelligence that, that, that our college community has been able to get starts with the students, mm -hmm. with, with the ASB, with our faculty, and so far they have done very well. Uh, we did have a student take his life about that. a year ago. It was a suicide. Yeah, it was a suicide. Mm -hmm. And in those things, you, you, you can't stop. I think, that the, I, I think that the idea is that having a greater awareness all the time versus something like this happens and it becomes, it becomes an issue at a board meeting and it's politically driven, politically right. motivated, and then it's totally forgotten. So, but there is consensus <clears throat> on mental health intervention. It's huge. It's a bigger problem than I think that most people want to talk about. And it's almost like the little dirty secret. There are people out there that need some type of help. And if, if they don't feel like they can go get the help without some type of retaliation. Right. So imagine a, a college student having, you know, something just happened in their life, traumatic, with their parent, uh, a friend, a uh, spouse, a girlfriend, right. whatever. And they, they're, they're seeking attention, they're seeking help, and they don't know how to get it. That's where the problem comes. And on top of it, you know, surely, that if someone's going to have a mental break, and descend into schizophrenia or whatever it may be, it's usually around the time they're entering college. Well, I mean, that's it, it, what there's, we know. There's, there's some big challenges when, when, when they go from high school to college. Mm -hmm. um, I know that, 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 that one of our trustees here tonight, John, John Pinkerton, John's mm -hmm. our incoming president, made, made kind of a, a, a funny comment to, to Police Chief mm -hmm. Leonard. And Police Chief Leonard really said that of all places within the high desert region or anywhere that, that he's been, that the college is really the safest place. Why? Um, they, they've been very proactive. I mean, he's asked for some more uh, personnel. 
Um, he's coming back this next board meeting to talk about some other issues. What about, um, I've heard some colleges that are looking at creating certain types of door handles that would allow the ability to lock from the inside? Um, we've converted some of ours so okay. far. Um, the, the challenge is that, that, that when you bring somebody into a board meeting very quickly versus making a workshop. So oh, our next board meeting is going to have a workshop. Dr. Mm -hmm. Wagner is very, very cognizant of it. Everybody's cognizant of it. Because you, you don't want to be responsible when you could have been responsible. Mm -hmm. When you can be proactive and you're not, that's where you have, that's where the breakdown comes. Do you have a counselor on staff or counselors or uh, how does it We work? have some counselors on out there. Mm -hmm. it, the challenge is this is an ongoing problem, right. and, and we have a problem in our country with, with the amount of shootings. I, I, I found it rather interesting that the night of Oregon, mm -hmm. I, I, I got home and I turned on the news, and, and, and our president was vividly upset. He right. was really upset. Right. You know, we can't keep talking about this. We need to do something about it, but, but, but it's like we're talking to ourselves. And, and, and I think that until, you know, the, the elementary schools look at it, I mean, nothing stops a, a, a young kid or a young student from, from finding mom and dad's gun and, and right. he's just being, well, he's look, being a kid no or question, the high school. There's no question that we could discuss and dissect the gun control question. I, I don't know where we would get in the next five minutes on that. But what I do know is that the mental health question is one where there's consensus. It's huge. And that's why I just keep coming back to this issue. You know, if you have 100 mental health counselors, will you prevent all shootings? No, but, but there are ancillary benefits but, to mental but, health. But you know, our president was really clear when, when he was frustrated that night. Our country leads in mass shootings. Our country, I am proud to be an American. There's nothing better than being an American. Why are we leading the country in these kind of shootings? Well, that brings There's us obviously a problem. Right. I don't know if it's, you know, people can say, well, it's the media. It's, no, it's not. I mean, for somebody to have to go out and do this, there's obviously an issue here. But Well, um, you know, on the question of gun control, I mean, we do have stricter gun laws in California than other states. We haven't had mass shootings in this state for a long time. But again, is that because of our gun laws or is that luck? Or is that because we have effective uh, mental health? I don't have an answer. I, 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 I would hope yeah. that it's all three. Mm -hmm. I played a lot of golf, and I used to right. think that I was good, but I would, would rather be lucky. Yeah, and I, I think you. that, you know, I, I think that it's an issue that the only time we talk about it publicly is when we have something like right. that. So as soon as I heard that, I'm thinking, here's a community college. Here are students that are, that are gone, mm -hmm. you know, parents that are far away. And, and you would never think that something like this is going to happen in a college. You never think it's going to happen in a movie theater. You know, and think that's about those what's so frustrating for so many of us to think that Victor Valley Community College District needs to spend money on prevention of mass shootings. But I that think that outrageous. every school district should really take a look and say, okay, where have we gone wrong? But I, I think that, 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 that what our president said, and, and, I, and I can't say I've always agreed with him, mm -hmm. though, the, when he made that profound, he was, he, he, he was standing at the lectern and he was upset because why is this happening well, in we're our numb. country? I mean, why? What, but we exactly. are numb to it. Oh yeah, you know, so many people get shot the next day, you're on to something else. Something, we, we gotta get to the root of the problem. And it is? I, it, it, it's a deep problem. I think that, you know, I, 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 Brad, I don't know what it is, but why is our country leading the world in these kind of shootings? Not just at community colleges, but movie theaters and everywhere else. I mean, uh, something, something's gone awry. He so. is Joseph W. Brady. He is president of the Victor Valley Community College District. My name is Brad Palmer. And stay safe. This is Charter Local Edition.